life cycle of syngamous trachea life cycle could be direct or indirect in case of indirect life cycle there is involvement of transport host such as earthworm snail sludge beetles larva of different house flies and even uh, chicken can act, can act as transport host infective stage it could be l3 within the egg l3 in environment l3 in transport host the eggs of Singamus trachea has some interesting features. Eggs may survive up to nine months in soil. And the L3 stages in transport host, they can survive even up to a year. So before moving on to the life cycle of Singamus trachea, I would like to mention some important epidemiological factors related to the occurrence of uh, this parasitic infection in domestic and wild birds. So this parasite primarily affects young birds, adults acts as carrier. Passeriformes and galliformes, birds of all, all ages are susceptible to this parasitic infection. And birds reared in outdoor pens are also highly susceptible. So you know, Adult male and female parasites are found in copulation in trachea and bronchi. Female parasites lay eggs in trachea along with a lot of inflammatory exudates. Uh, the eggs are then coughed off, swallowed and passed in the feces. The development of L3 in the environment it takes around one to two weeks under, under optimum temperature and humidity. Final host, that is birds of different species, uh, will be affected, will be infected by ingesting the infective stages that I have mentioned earlier. Afterwards, L3 penetrates the intestinal wall and reaches to the lungs of the birds, where the rest of the molting, that is L3 to L4, L4 to L5 stages, will be occurred. So adult will be found in trachea and female parasite will start laying eggs. For the completion of the life cycle, it takes around three weeks.